Hey guys, I want to do a uh, quick video. Um, I know some of you have been waiting to see the peppers and the rail system I built. Um, this is going to be a quick video because everything I want to cover and show you guys how I build it and what's uh, involved in it and what's going on with each section would be way too much to put into one video. So I'm going to do a quick overview video so everyone can kind of get a look and then I'm going to break it down into a series of videos over the next you know, week, two weeks, three weeks, month, whatever. But uh, quickly, uh, here we are. We got six rails, um, basic uh, five by five fence posts. Uh, there's 39 pepper plants in here, 39 sites. Uh, each pepper plant has a foot in every direction, staggered. So basically, you know, this pepper plant has a foot to the next plant, which those will fill up like a jungle in there, believe me. Uh, 13 varieties. Right here, I got three. There's three of each. I have uh, Anaheim chilies, I have uh, uh, jalapenos, these uh, short stocky guys here are Zavery uh, hot uh, habaneros. Uh, this one, that one, and that one going that way are uh, Italian Marconi peppers. Uh, right here I have three poblanos, and if you remember I had one pobl two poblanos that didn't take, two seed pods, one out of the three did. That's the one, and those are the two that I later did, so that's why they're much smaller. Um, right here I have three Cubanellas. Beside the Cubanella peppers, I have three uh, what are called Bananaramas. They're uh, about eight inch long uh, sweet banana peppers. Uh, after the Cubanellas, right down here, let's scoot around this way, right down this rail, I have three Big Dippers, which are uh, Big Green Bells. Uh, beyond the Marconi there, right in this area, I have uh, three, oh, what, now that one's just slipped my mind, three, uh, oh, those are uh, Godfather Hybrid. They're like an Italian Marconi pepper type. Uh, right here I have three Bush Bell, which are uh, red and green, uh, nice long bell peppers, and if you actually look right in there, I got one little pepper already. Uh, beyond that, uh, down there, beyond these bells, I have a long pepper mix right in this area, which is the uh, like uh, red and green long pepper, kind of similar to like a banana. Uh, on this end, I have a sweet pepper mix, which you know could be ivory, uh, purple, chocolate, red. So we'll see what those come out. I got another Marconi right there, that uh, Italian pepper. And on the end there, I got them three down there. It's called a Tangerine Dream which is like a one inch, two inch little uh, tangerine sweet pepper. Tons of them, supposed to produce a lot, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, these peppers um, have just got their uh, new light recently. I have uh, the lighting system real quickly. There's an adjust wing, large wing. Goes up to a uh, uh, two way ballast up there, thousand watt. It is switchable from metal halide to high pressure sodium. Right now I'm running a thousand watt uh, metal halide, trying to do some veg here. And then I'll switch it over to a high pressure uh, sodium bulb. Um, the wing is, whoop, listen up here. See if you can hear this. The system just kicked on. It's running on a 30 minute on, 30 minute off timer, the uh, pump system. Um, the roots are growing great. I will show you the roots uh, eventually here. Uh, the peppers are doing great. I got a lot of little uh, buds developing. So, so far, so good. Um, I'm going to move down around the outside here. Uh, for those that don't know, what you're looking at there is called Poly Shield uh, Sheeting Underlayment. Got it at Lowe's. It's a three quarter inch styrofoam. It was like $10 a sheet. Uh, you can see it over there, but it's already got like a built-in uh, mylar reflective surface. Works great for bouncing your light around. Okay, on the outside here, uh, don't mind my mess, I got a few items here going on, but I have two 27-gallon uh, uh, super boxes. Those are the reservoirs. Uh, the reservoirs actually are holding 42 gallons of uh, nutrient solution. How I know that, I'll tell you in a little bit. I have uh, four large air stones that run across these lines and go in. 
that uh, power it. The two reservoirs are connected, as you can see down in there, waterproof fitting. Um, on the top of the reservoir, on each side, we have a drain. The drain comes down from each rail, drains in, and right into here. And actually, let's see if I can get this up. Now, the system is running. You can see the rails are draining right now because the system is running right now. Uh, this here is just a pipe that I can turn on a valve right here. Basically, when I do my new changes and change outs, I can shut down the rails because each rail is individually controlled by a valve. I can shut down the rails and just circulate, just recirculate the uh, reservoirs, which mixes the nutrient solution real nice. So I can circulate. That's all this is for is basically recirculation. Um, so as I mentioned, those are pretty much inside here. I do have a auto, a, uh, auto float top off valve. You can see it there. It comes down. The piping is covered with black because I didn't want no algae growing in the clear line that's there. Uh, it does go over to a Flowmaster um, filter. Uh, tells me how much water I've moved through the system. That's how I know when I filled these uh, reservoirs that it was exactly 42 gallons that I have in there to the top of the float valve where I have it set. And as of right now, the system has used, let's say, 66 gallons I've ran through. And the system is set for 3,000 gallons. So at 3,000 gallons, that alarm will go off and let me know that it's ran 3,000 gallons through. And everyone says, wow, why would you want to know about 3,000 gallons? Because I have a Hydro Farm filtering system that runs directly over from the tap uh, to filter. So this does auto top itself off. As the plants use uh, water or the nutrient solution, it does top itself off. Um, I also have an outlet here when I want to do my deep water so I can get uh, chlorine free water, you know, right off of it. Uh, so the maintenance on this is incredibly easy. Um, I love the system. It was a lot more money to build it like this, but I do love it. Uh, drain valve right here runs over to the pump right over there, as you can see. So what I do is shut the rails off when it's time to change out the newts, turn that valve. That valve automatically pumps over to the mop sink, comes right up there, and drains into the mop sink. There's the tie-in under there. You can see the tie-in for the top-off system. It ties right into the water line. Uh, with this much water and fluid, uh, it's, it, well, I should say with this many plants going, I wouldn't want to have to top this thing off all the time, especially once these plants get big, because I could see how much fluid these things uh, already use. Just uh, the two I have inside my other peppers go through that five-gallon bucket so fast, I could imagine. Um, and one thing I have noticed real quickly on the maintenance, the pH is way easier to uh, maintain in the larger reservoirs. I check it every couple days, and it barely fluctuates by 0.1. Um, I did uh, get a pH meter, so uh, that was real nice to use. Uh, this time going around, there it is, Organic Pure Blend Pro by Botanicare. Uh, that's all I'm using. It's the Bloom formula. I didn't start them on grow. A lot of guys have used uh, just Bloom on their peppers and their tomatoes, so I said, well, let's give it a shot. And so far, it's been pretty good. I'm getting ready to up the... Uh, solution right now I'm running it kind of weak because they were new in you know and they were a little hurt but uh, it's almost been a month since I've done the nutrient change now that the peppers are definitely getting larger the plants uh, I definitely am gonna start up in this uh, nutrients uh, you can see here on this plant it's one leaf um, you know the plants are looking real well real nice I'm real pleased with the system uh, that was basically the the whole system. As you can see, these are some of the buckets from my cucumbers and herb garden that I used to have. So I do got some storage going on under here. Um, but basically, it's a real... Oh, one other thing. The airline, the black airline, you see it running here. It runs right over there to my uh, pump, commercial air three pump. That thing puts out a ton of air. So... 
um, that I actually have a uh, diffuser or, or splitter down there you can see it right there I actually have two blocked off because I'm only running four I'm going to connect some new I'm going to make a new rail system for possibly some herbs or uh, some along that line lettuces so I, I do have the expansion right there ready uh, the pump is a quiet one pump I think it's a 3000 is the model number as you can see I have it uh, unioned I have a lot of the plumbing unioned and the reason for that is I wanted this system to break down very easily so I have a lot of the plumbing unioned I'll get into more of that the system totally breaks down super fast super easy I'll show you my idea that I'm gonna do right there with them connections for plant supports uh, I'm really excited to show you guys in-depth videos of certain sections uh, for right now I'll just give you a quick little peek right off of this rail I think the system is running and then I'm gonna shut this video down after this because it's already getting long I can see I'll give you a quick peek into this rail you can see in there the sprinklers running as you can see I had to change the design a little bit you can see the root growth all the way down the rail see if you can see the mother heads further down uh, and that's what I like about this system is I have complete access I designed these uh, little gaskets I designed this T piece which I don't know if you could you could see the indention there works absolutely fantastic for making this system watertight um, on the other end see I just slides on there onto that nylon uh, bolt put a nylon wing nut right down the center which gives equal oh I think I got a little fog or something on the lens there gets equal pressure tighten it down and there you have it watertight and the other end is the same way is that sorry guys the lens is like trying to adjust there we go the uh, other end is the same way as that except the only difference is there's the pipe penetrations which those come right out easily and the same thing this end I wish I could lift one of these out to show you but the root masses are already getting large this end uh, fills up nicely drains and easily by switching out this piece right here because I have it drilled this could also become a deep water culture with about half of it full of water but I don't think I'm gonna need to do that so well we'll see how it goes but it is very versatile so the system would be easy to clean up quickly broke down um, hope you guys are enjoying my videos uh, once again I will be uh, posting soon on uh, urbanhydro.org uh, thanks to Zach and the Urban Hydro uh, Growers Union for inviting me over there to be a contributor with my gardens I uh, I'm really excited about that I'll be doing my first video soon so if you get a chance go over to urbanhydro.org and check it out uh, thanks to all my new subscribers uh, look for a lot more videos guys we're gonna be blowing them out here real soon I've been very busy doing things as you can tell got a lot of gardens going a lot of things going so uh, look for new videos please subscribe if you haven't uh, if you get a chance go over to a couple friends of mine that do a great job with their gardens and uh, that's Gary's gardens he's also on YouTube and also shoot over to Slee Stacks rules and check out his gardens he's doing a lot of stuff uh, hydro indoor and out both of them they will be doing a lot more raised uh, bed gardens uh, this year than me I'm pretty much not gonna do raised bed I'm gonna do all hydro so uh, look for some uh, new stuff and I'll see you guys real soon with some new videos thanks for watching guys